Sean here with Nomadic Recovery. In this video, we're going to be talking about the gear I'm going to be using on the Florida Trail through hike starting first week of January 2021. It's going to be my first through hike, and this is the pack that I've gotten it down to, at least to begin with. So, it might change as we go along, but uh, this is it. So, here we go. So, what we have for the trip is right here. I think uh, this is pretty close. I might have a few cables or little extras I might add to this, but. Um, this is basically it. So let's just take a quick look here. We've got, we're gonna take a stove, the MSR wind burner. Um, I already have purchased this. Uh, I hiked with it. It is a pound compared to a smaller system, of course, but which might weigh three or four ounces plus the, the can. But what I like about this is it's integrated. So it's got everything in there. You get your, you can keep, you can store your fuel in there get it out and you also have your actual burner in there too so when you're done and then there's your pot okay titanium pot so I'm already carrying a I think it's a liter uh, also on the bottom you have a, a nice plastic cup that comes off and you can use it to make coffee so what I like about it is you can get some water boiling take take that first bit of hot water make some coffee and then finish up the boiling and finish your meal. So while your meal's cooking, you can be drinking your coffee. So I like that. Uh, is it worth the wait? If I didn't already have it, I wouldn't use it. I probably won't use it in the future once I get uh, more concerned about spending more money to change gear, but it is a nice product. So I, I used it this last week and it was great. Okay, boils quick, never goes out and almost almost never in in wind so you don't have to worry about a windscreen and, and all that stuff i don't think i have that in there all right let's see all right so then the next thing i'm taking um i did just purchase this this just happens to be sitting in front here i'll show you just a cover for your uh for my pack uh, made by osprey for the pack for a rain uh, fly for the pack which it doesn't weigh hardly anything so to me, it was worth it to try to keep your stuff dry, especially because I'm gonna be using a down sleeping bag. But uh, before we get to that, we're using the Thermarest Neo Air, the yellow one. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's got a 4.2 um, warmth rating. I forget what the term is for warmth, but uh, it keeps you warm. Uh, you don't feel the ground coming through. I even slept on a 30 degree night right on this with no sleeping bag underneath me kind of like a quilt with the back open and I was warm so very good it's, it's pretty light I like it the other thing I have is the bag this says marmot but it's not a marmot this is an old sleeping bag uh, sack but what I have in there I'm not taking it out but is the I've got some pictures of it the Kelty zero degree down cosmic wool bag and <clears throat> I said it before it's too probably too hot for uh, what I'm doing, but it's what I have. It's a nice bag I bought last year. Uh, I did use it last week when it was 32 degrees and I was just like, greatest sleep I've had in years. I mean, it was just awesome. So it, it may end up being too hot um, for Florida Trail, but this time of year in Florida, we get, we get cold weather. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it and see how it goes. If I have to send it back, I will. This is just my clothing. Um, I went through that before, but we've got some merino wool uh, fleece. I've got a, a basic t-shirt, merino wool. I'm gonna be wearing uh, my shorts. I've got also pair of tights in here, just in case it gets cold, and that was really nice this weekend. And then just a pair, extra pair of socks and one pair of extra underwear, or one pair of underwear, besides the one you got on. Um, this is the tent. It is four and a half pounds so i'm not really happy about it i wish it's this is the least favorite of my situation here i'm just not going to spend more money this year so i don't have it but i'm going to use what i have it's a good tent it, it goes up in you know two minutes very easy the only issue is the weight and then you got to find you know packing these um poles is a little bit of a pain so but that's what i have that's what i'm using this uh next item is I guess a luxury, but I bought this Catadion water filter. This is the big ceramic filter. Really, it's made for camp, you know, where you're filtering a lot of water for a group, I think. But 
and I, and I have debated even taking this thing because it weighs it weighs a pound. So most through hikers would say, "Oh, you're out of your mind. That's just crazy." Well, I did try the the Sawyer Micro last week. I tried it and it immediately failed on me. It failed on me twice. Uh, also realized that if you don't bring that little coupler, you can't backwash it. And I don't feel comfortable doing a through hike with just a Sawyer filter. Um, maybe that'll change because maybe I'll get on the trail and go, man, this is a, just not worth carrying. Uh, but at this point, I have not really liked those Sawyer squeeze, Sawyer, anything with a filter that can get clogged. Um, other than that, we just got my basic clothing here. Uh, this is just a really nice fleece. Uh, it's nylon, but it's a hiking fleece I got from uh, from the Gila National Monument uh, out, in, out in New Mexico. Right there. All right. First, first and only through hike I've done, or, or just an overnight three night hike. Um, just a nice pair of hiking shorts from out or outdoor research. Um, these are really comfortable, and a uh, little beanie if we need it. And I did I did the uh, the buff just in case. I got that idea from Darwin on the trail. Uh, the bag is just very popular, common bag. The Osprey, uh, um, I think it's called Exos, yeah, 58. So it packs about 30 pounds pretty pretty nicely uh, at the most. It It is a good bag. It's a little heavier than I want, but it is a good bag, so I'm going to use that. And then we have, this is going to be, by the way, thank you uh, uh, to Jupiter Hikes for a lot of these ideas. These, these sacks I bought, these odorless sacks are gonna be in there. And I'm just putting two, two sacks, I'm trying to get it very organized, two sacks. One for food, one for everything else. And then the things I'm gonna use during the day, I'm gonna put on the brain of this, uh, the top of this uh, backpack, which I never had a use for, but now I do. Instead of a fanny pack, which I don't like that, carrying a fanny pack around, it gets in my way. But all we have here, just real, real quick, is a, we've got a lawnmower. We've got, um, chafing cream here we've got a basic um first aid kit we've got some patches for the air mattress we've got some uh alcohol swipes um just things like that we'll put the papers in there basic things in this uh, this here will be on the brain probably this i'm going to store in here this is the battery backup which i ordered exactly what uh Jupiter Hikes was using, and I think it's great. I'm gonna be using that for backing up battery and phone and, and uh, other things. I got a little headlamp. It's, we're gonna see how it goes. I have another headlamp, the Black Diamond. It's a lot heavier, but it's better. This thing is rechargeable, so I kinda wanted to try this. This is the, uh, what is this brand? Axis. And this is something I got at the, at the outfitter store, but it's all right. I can already tell it's kinda cheap, but it's, it's enough light. I mean, I'm not going to hike at night more than a few minutes each morning and maybe at night coming in. Um, should be enough. What I like about it is it's rechargeable. So rather than carrying an extra pack of batteries and the weight of batteries itself, I've just got this thing, which is pretty light. No batteries, right? As long as I can get to power and get this thing backed up, I'm good. Uh, what else we got? We've got three and a half pounds of food. So already went through this before but basically three meals plus olive oil and then I've got this uh, quinoa that I'm gonna take with me and try to cold soak that cook that whatever this is my starting pack I'm sure this is gonna change within the first week but I didn't want to carry more weight than that that's three and a half pounds I think that's enough to get me going um, I, I know I'm gonna have to figure out how to eat and evolve as I go so I have wasted a lot of time and carrying a lot of extra weight with the food issue worrying about food and I think I, this to me is a good starter pack. I throw in some, you know, granola and snack on or cliff bars or whatever during the day. And there's plenty of food for me to get out there and get going. Um, get your basic uh, utility utility trowel. And then I got a little, uh, just a little uh, microfiber uh, cloth for cleaning, and wiping hands, cleaning my glasses, that kind of thing. And I think that's about it. Now, of course, we're going to be carrying water. So I'm going to go ahead and pack all this and then weigh it and see uh i guess that would be the base weight see what it is see how much i'm going to be carrying yesterday i had it down to 26 i'm hoping i've shaved a few things off and we'll see okay so i got everything in there it's amazing how practice helps that looks much more 
streamlined. That's the right way the pack should look. I've got my two bottles of water in there. And all together, this pack weighs just under 30 pounds. So that's with four, probably up to four days meals, two liters of water and everything I'm gonna carry more or less. I'm gonna have a few extras like these little things here couple of those but honestly even if it was another pound it's still right around 30 31 now that could be lighter if I had different gear but I think that's about as good as I could get it and the food will be the question you know how much food do I use am I gonna need to carry more than I got more than I have in there but I think I've got more than I need for three days in the right now so I'm really happy with this this is fantastic uh, watch a lot of videos learned a lot Okay, so that's it. That pack came in around 30 pounds with food and water. So um, I don't have a uh, scale to measure every ounce. Excuse me, just got a, um, just like a digital bathroom scale, but I, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't over 30 pounds. I'm probably like 31. So that probably has too much food. Um, we'll see, that's a good starting point. It felt, felt great on my back compared to what I've been doing recently for my hike so I think it'll be fine so I just want to have a couple points here before I leave um and I appreciate you guys staying this long that's I know YouTube videos are in and out quick but uh a couple things I've learned that if you're starting to do through hiking or even just hiking of any kind uh, a couple things I've learned a few things I've learned one uh have your water filtering process you know filter your soil squeeze your your whatever filter you're using or your water uh, treatment um, so that you can have water that you're planning on have a backup for that i uh, i know everybody says don't bring a backup it's too much weight blah 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 um i just don't agree with that because i got out there in the woods even close to home um and i had that sawyer micro fail on me and I didn't have a backup other than boiling. So I guess that's a backup, but it literally ruined my trip because it takes forever to boil water and you can only boil it a liter at a time, in my case. Then it has to cool down, then you can drink it or store it, you can do it again. So it takes you an extra hour to do this, you know, or more to get your water treated. If you don't have a clean source of water, and the one source of filtering you brought with you didn't work, well, you're kind of screwed. And I don't, I don't like that feeling. Um, Florida Trail that I'm going to be doing has got lots of water, generally speaking, so it's not the Arizona desert. But still, there are stretches that could have no water for a couple days, a couple three days, and uh, depending on when you go. So you, I think you should have a backup. So backup meaning, if you bring a Sawyer squeeze, I would just bring another one. Or I would bring a micro, Sawyer micro, or something small. Or if you want to, just bring some, uh, you know, uh, marina tablets or whatever they're called, or, or bleach or whatever. Something to get that water cleaned up so you can drink it and keep hiking, get to a better source, and fix the situation. So water filtration, water treatment is the number one important thing to me. Food you cannot eat for a day or two and you're not going to die. You can get out of there and get to a town and get some food. Water's tricky, especially when you're working hard and if it's hot. You need to have that uh, availability to, to filter water. Number two is get your pack weight down as far as you can get it. Um, the couple ways to do that. The main weight you're going to be carrying, I think, is water, number one. So the less water you have to carry, the better. But if you, if you are carrying water, just be aware that every liter of water you carry is about 2.4 pounds, is what I was, 2.2 pounds of weight. So just two, two liter bottles, just a two liter bottle of water that we could drink in a couple, couple sittings, right? Um, that's gonna weigh you over four pounds. That's a lot of weight. The other thing that uh, is gonna, you need to be counting carefully is food. If you're carrying too much food, you're going to be, um, and it's very common. I, I I do it still, and it's it's all based on all of this is based on fear, right? We don't know how much food we think we're going to need, so we carry too much or the wrong kind. But those are the two areas that are going to be the most heavy, 
and uh, you need to find that line and that balance where you need you don't want to carry less than you need but you do not want to carry more either because that will really add up quickly and that's what makes you really fatigued is the extra weight so get your pack down water's the heaviest thing you're carrying food can be if it can be stripped down and, and once you get out there and the only way to do this is get out there and practice this by the way but if you carry less food you're going to be better off uh, you don't want to carry less than you need, but just be aware of the, of that. Um, so that's water filtration, pack weight. And then the third thing is um, just being aware that of your body. So if you are out there and you're new at this or you're out of shape or whatever, that's fine. You don't have to do 25 miles a day. You can do five. You can do 10. You can do what you can do. You don't have to do a through hike. You can do... A local hike and, and that's really the point of this is that find a local hike that you can do uh, if you're perfect so for example I got this from uh, Jupiter hikes if you are preparing for a through hike rather than just jump on a through hike with 65 pounds on your back and start walking which is what he did it's what I did in the Gila it's uh, common you're just trying to get out there and figure it out on the way right but it makes a lot more sense to find a local hike around you that might be a two or three night event, six, maybe 40 to 60 miles in a loop that you can do. And um, we've got some hooping cranes out there. And practice, practice everything you're gonna screw up out there close to home so you can come home. Looks like these guys are taking over. I don't know where they are. Right there. Yes, we're in Florida. So find a local hike, practice, screw up, come home, change your weight, change your thing, figure out what you want, realize, realize how much food you really need for a four-day hike instead of thinking you need it. And those things will start dialing in. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm on the, what I would consider, I'm not a newbie newbie at hiking, but I'm on the first through hike. So that is newbie for me on that that category. Going to be doing that Florida Trail, and it uh, looks like we're heading to the Everglades uh, first week of January. Water's high, but uh, Michelle at the National uh, Park there said that uh, it's doable. It's not it's not dangerous, and uh, she was awesome, man. She's like, yeah, just get in there and do it, man. Everybody does it. So I'm ready to go. We're going to hit those Everglades, Big Cypress. I'm excited. That's the pack weight. That's a few ideas. I hope you guys like the channel. If you do um uh, subscribe you know um this isn't anything special it's just me trying to document what i'm trying to do my passion for hiking and getting to the outdoors and uh, the only thing i always say is get to the woods just get to the woods whatever woods you got get to them get to the woods i'll see you guys later